Whenever you do lots of pushing and pulling, your pecs and your lats, you do use them quite a lot. The ball, the head of the humerus goes up and forward, like that, it goes up and forward. The subacromial space becomes reduced. You also can't forget about the shoulder blade, the scapula. When you do a lot of pushing and pulling, doesn't matter whichever direction, the muscles will, when they get tight, because you're doing a lot of exercise, they get tight, they pull the scapula forward and down as well. So essentially you are reducing the space, let's keep it simple. And when you reduce the space, the subacromial space, there's tissues between there called the rotator cuff tendons. So your rotator cuff, they start here, they also start at the top here, they come through underneath and they attach onto there. You also have rotator cuff from the front of the scapula, shoulder blade, and they also come through and attach there. You have your lats, which also comes underneath your armpit and attach there. You have your pecs, which also come through and attach there. So they all attach in this region here. And of course, on top of all that, you have your bursa. So you hear about the bursitis because that's supposed to stop the tendons rubbing on the bone. But if you reduce that space and you stay there long enough, so this is the rounded shoulder posture, you know, that people get from doing lots of push-ups and you don't do enough stretching. And I always say to people who do lots of gym work workouts, you'll never stretch enough. You've got to just always stretch. If you stay there long enough, of course you're going to rub, 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 and one day you'll wake up with a bursitis or a tendonitis or a tendon tear or whatever the case is, right? And that's inflammation or bleeding sitting under here. And that's extremely painful. That's the one that, oh, just throbs, aches, lots of, oh, I can't lift my arm, I'm stuck. Oh, I can't do this. And I, it's, it's horrible pain. I, I remember because I used to have one.